What's going on, FG fam? Welcome to another episode of the St. Louis Rams franchise here on Madden 21 Current Gen. And today we get past the wild card and we get into this divisional round of the playoffs. Some big games going on today, so make sure you guys drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content, because that is all we do here. There are some big changes coming up in this Rams franchise that you won't want to miss. So drop that like, subscribe, and here we go. Divisional round of the playoffs, Houston Texans and Cleveland Browns here in Houston and our NRG Stadium it is Baker Mayfield 34 touchdowns 11 interceptions on his season 4500 yards he is looking to pull off the upset on the road here against Deshaun Watson there's the toss to Duke Johnson Jr and breaking a couple of tackles to get into the end zone for the touchdown is Duke Johnson and Duke Johnson's first rushing touchdown of the day gives the Texans a 7-0 lead. Later on, first and goal. Here's Duke Johnson with an opportunity, and he pounds it in again. This time running right through Denzel Perriman's attempted tackle. And Duke Johnson makes it a 14-0 game. Later on, a third and goal right before the half. And Duke Johnson again diving into the end zone for another touchdown. Three rushing touchdowns. That's right. Those were not the same clip. It is just deja vu. Here's Baker Mayfield up the middle. He's intercepted by Benardrick McKinney. And McKinney takes it to the 22-yard line of Cleveland. And Baker Mayfield and the Cleveland Browns not looking so hot today as we are still getting close to halftime. There's the throw from Watson and that one going to Brandon Cooks for the touchdown. Again before the half, still 28-0 into the fourth quarter. There's a nice rushing touchdown. That one for the rookie running back, Victor Miner, who was a guy that our Rams were looking at in the draft before the Browns snatched him up. Here's Baker Mayfield dropping into the end zone, and he is sacked by Charles Omenahu for the safety, and that is how this one would come to a close, a 30-7 win for the Houston Texans, just throttling the Browns here at home, and the Texans moving into the AFC title game. So the Houston Texans do their job, and now the Giants and the Cowboys. The Giants visiting Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. Daniel Jones has had a surprisingly very good season. And we'll see if he can pull off the upset. Here's Dak Prescott on a third and goal. Throw into the end zone. He's intercepted. And a brilliant pick by Xavier McKinney out of Alabama. Here's Daniel Jones. Again, a surprisingly good season. 4,500 yards, 31 touchdowns, only 10 interceptions. And we know in real life he turns over the ball a lot, but not here in this universe. There's Saquon Barkley to the end zone for the touchdown. Hey, it's a lot. You can do a lot better if you have your full complement of weapons than he does here in this universe. Here goes Zeke Elliott. Nice little spin move, but he's hit and he fumbles the football, so nothing's changed between now and real life as Zeke Elliott has had a lot of fumbles in real life. Unfortunately, the Giants don't do anything on offense with that free turnover, so Dak Prescott now with another opportunity if he can complete a nice drive, but that is intercepted as well. Dak Prescott's second interception, that one by Walden, and that'll put the Giants in such a short field they've got to take advantage. Here's Daniel Jones on first and goal from the five, and the easy throw to Golden Tate the third. And Golden Tate gives the Giants a 14-0 lead. Here later on in the fourth quarter, already 17-0, third and goal. Daniel Jones back over to Golden Tate again for the second time today. And that gives the Giants a 24-0 lead, which is exactly how the game ends. Giants defense came to play today. Also, the Giants rushing game, very, very good with 169 yards. Very nice. Dak Prescott, very disappointed he couldn't advance, but the Giants surprisingly advancing to the NFC title game as the Indianapolis Colts are playing host today. Jacoby Brissett, the quarterback, playing host to another number seven 
Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. This should be a very good one. Let's check out the highlights to this. This should be good. Ben Roethlisberger, 34 touchdowns, 9 interceptions in what could be his swan song. We will see. Ben Roethlisberger wants to go out with that Super Bowl victory, his third of his career, if he could get it. Here's Roethlisberger throwing across the middle, and he completes that one to James Conner. Solomon Thomas gets injured on the play. That is big and important. Solomon Thomas, a big pickup for the Colt defense, and he will not be available. Here's Ben Roethlisberger on first and 10, throwing to the back of the end zone. He finds his man, Juju Smith-Schuster, for the touchdown. And Juju giving the Steelers the 7-0 lead early on. Here's Jacoby Brissett, 41 touchdowns, 14 interceptions for him on his season. And it's a third and 16 for Brissett from the 16-yard line. That one's thrown up the middle, and it is complete to T.Y. Hilton, but he doesn't get to the first down marker. So they settle for three. Later on, another opportunity. There's a nice handoff to Marlon Mack. But he doesn't get to the first down marker. Cam Hayward stops him shy. They settle for another field goal. Here's Marlon Mack. This time he won't be denied. On third and one, he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Colts take their first lead of the ball game. It could have been a way bigger lead, too. Here's Roethlisberger on third and goal. Throwing and stepping in is James Conner for the touchdown. And Ben Roethlisberger making the comeback here in the third quarter and getting Pittsburgh back on top with the second lead change of the day. Well, technically third. Here's Brissett throwing left side. That's intercepted. And that's going to get taken to the house by Minka Fitzpatrick. Right place, right time for Minka Fitzpatrick to make the play. A 42-yard interception return. And Pittsburgh goes up 24 to 16. Here's Jacoby Brissett up the middle of the field. Hit hard, but still a first down. Here first and 10 for Jacoby Brissett. He throws and he completes to T.Y. Hilton at the 11 yard line. 31 seconds to play. Can the Colts make the comeback? Here's Brissett and he goes down. T.J. Watt is there. Two and a half sacks on the day for T.J. Watt. Second and 22, Brissett's opportunity. He throws this one shy with no timeouts. Michael Pittman makes the catch, but it's not gonna matter as the clock runs out on Indianapolis and Frank Reich is disappointed. As the Steelers with way less yards, they get one takeaway and it proves to help them win this game as that takeaway did go for a pick six. Jacoby Brissett is upset. But now we go into Lambeau Field in the frozen tundra as it is frozen today. We have a snow game between the Green Bay Packers and the Carolina Panthers. It will be Teddy Bridgewater, Teddy time at Lambeau against Aaron Rodgers who's looking for a ring himself to get his second of or third of his career as they were the champions in season one. There's a throw across the middle to Jay Sternberger. And that touchdown gives the Packers a 7-0 lead. Teddy Bridgewater, 25 touchdowns, 11 interceptions on his season. He had a pretty good season, but did nothing with his first possession and gives Aaron Rodgers a chance here on third and goal. Throw it across the middle. That's complete to Rod Purcell, the rookie but they'd have to settle for a field goal as he didn't get into the end zone. Here's a second and inches for Bridgewater, throwing ill-advised throw headed for DJ Moore, and it's intercepted as Adrian Amos makes the big play there. The Packers take over with possession. 17 seconds to go in the half. Here's Rodgers. He throws it short to Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones breaks a tackle. And he gets down at the 16-yard line. They settle for a field goal, going to the half with a 13-0 lead. Here's a toss outside to Harden, a rookie, and he cannot get in. No Christian McCaffrey on that play. A little bit surprising. Panthers settle for a field goal. Here's Aaron Rodgers on a third and inches. He's hit, and then he is running to his right, and he fumbles the football the second time he's hit. His lineman picks it up, and then he fumbles it. Bakhtiari fumbles, 
Rodgers fumbles. It ends up in the hands of the Carolina Panther. And now on a third and six, here's Bridgewater throwing and complete for the touchdown to DJ Moore. As the Panthers looking to make a comeback in this game, they're only down a field goal. And Packers get a field goal on their next possession, but it is Teddy time. A fourth and six from his own five. He completes it. And now a second and inches from the 35 of Green Bay. That is complete as well. If they would have just held Green Bay, they would have had an opportunity, but the clock runs out on Carolina. Green Bay wins at Lambeau, 16 to 10 in the snow. Aaron Rodgers will move to the NFC title game against the New York Giants. So we will show you those games in this episode as well. Highlights of the AFC and NFC championship game starting with the AFC championship game, the Houston Texans hosting the Pittsburgh Steelers. That is the five and seven seed. Both five seeds make the championship games as the Giants made it as well. They will be hosted by the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. The only one seed to get this far. The Colts couldn't hold up against Pittsburgh. So here we go. It is Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans playing host to Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers at NRG Stadium. Can the Texans get another home playoff game win? They shouldn't have had any home playoff games, but here they are with two in a row. Deshaun Watson right away in the first quarter taking off for 25 yards getting into Pittsburgh territory. It leads to a field goal and Ben Roethlisberger coming out. 34 touchdowns, nine interceptions on his season. Again, looking to end with a ring. And that's tipped and intercepted. And this could be taken all the way to the house by Bradley McDougal. It would be a touchdown for Houston. They start off really well here with a 10-0 lead. Roethlisberger takes his team right down. Derek Watt fumbles at the goal line. Picked up by Houston, Zach Cunningham. And Derek Watt upset with himself after that one, especially since his brother is the catalyst on defense for Pittsburgh. It's a 13-3 lead for Houston. There's the throw down the middle. Deontay Johnson taking this one as far as he can. He will finally get brought down at the 19-yard line. And the Steelers drive here culminating on a third and goal at the two-yard line. Either in or a field goal. And James Conner gets it into the end zone. And Pittsburgh draws within three. Texans get a field goal, but with 7.52 to go, it's Eric Ebron falling into the end zone. Pittsburgh gets their first lead of the game. Thanks to Eric Ebron and company. 17-16, it's a one-point lead. Watson. Looking to bring his team back. There goes Deshaun Watson down the left side, and he will fumble the football after a huge run. It is picked up by Pittsburgh Steven Nelson. And Pittsburgh gets it back here from the Houston Texan nine as the end of this drive ends with a Deontay Johnson touchdown in the right corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Deontay Johnson. Pittsburgh takes a 24-16 lead. Deja vu, anyone of last week? Another AFC South team to go down 24-16? No. Kenny still sits in the back of the end zone and catches this one from Deshaun Watson. He needs a two-point conversion with 140 to go. Kenny Stills giving him the old boogeyman sign. Here's Deshaun Watson. From two yards out on the two-point conversion. Throwing complete. Brandon Cooks. It's good. Tie game at 24 with a minute 40 to play. The AFC Championship just got a whole lot better. Here's a short throw. James Conner down the right sideline. That's complete to the 37-yard line. Seven seconds to go. It's a 42-yard field goal to win. And it is good from Chris Boswell. The Pittsburgh Steelers take the three-point lead. And that is good enough for them. A 27-24 win. Pittsburgh on the road. They didn't run the ball as well. They didn't get more takeaways. 
but they come away with the win on the road in Houston. Bill O'Brien's team fails yet again in the postseason, but they get further than they've ever been before. Maybe they'll be back next year. We get into the NFC Championship game now. Packers playing host to the New York Giants. The Giants, very improbable run so far this postseason, but Aaron Rodgers is here. 31 touchdowns, six interceptions on his season. We know that Daniel Jones has 31 touchdowns, 10 interceptions on his year, and it's been a very good one for him and the Giants. Here's Aaron Rodgers throwing shy of the end zone to Devontae Adams. Fourth and goal. Good stop by the Giants. They force a field goal. They're down three. Here's Daniel Jones, and that's a fumble picked up by Green Bay and Dean Lowry on the recovery. Daniel Jones starting to turn into the real Daniel Jones. We'll see. Here's fourth and goal, and the Packers going for it. It's Aaron Jones. They say he got in. Giants say he didn't, but it is a touchdown call. Not enough evidence to overturn, and it's 10-0 Green Bay. Here's Daniel Jones looking to bring the Giants back. But he holds on to the ball too long, and now we have the typical Daniel Jones. That fumble picked up by Kenny Clark, and Green Bay just storming Daniel Jones and this offense. Third and one, Aaron Jones picks it up, sidesteps, gets nothing but green grass in front of him, and Aaron Jones all the way into the end zone for the touchdown from 50 yards away, and the Green Bay Packers extend their lead to 17 zip with just 638 to go they end 20 to nothing as they blitz this giants team four takeaways for the green bay defense proves to be too much for daniel jones and the offense to handle so there you go it will be a Pittsburgh Steeler, Green Bay Packers, Super Bowl. Steelers' run has been quite um, improbable as they were the seven seed. The Giants would have been more improbable to me, though. They're a far less talented team. But it will be the one seeded Green Bay Packers in the NFC and the seven seeded Pittsburgh Steelers in the AFC. So if, I hope you guys are excited for the next episode because that one will be the Super Bowl highlights and the off-season preview. The off-season will take place on Thursday, January 14th, during the big 5,000 subscriber special that I am putting together. I will announce that in a community post, so make sure you pay attention to those. Make sure you drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for the love of franchise content. It's literally all we do here. We can build a winner together. If you want to see some more franchise, make sure you click right here to see some more franchise.